One, th one thing I've noticed a lot from really all these teams is, is each team kind of has their own floater battleship. Um, Aristia for MIA has kind of been the floater battleship. Pan Panzo is, is is near B right now, kind of just hanging by himself. Um, each team kind of has their floater. Strangers has done a, a real flanking job. Aristia taking big damage, though. He's down uh, about 15k already. And TTT has good spotting right now and not really that much going on. But it looks like... Um, uh, the uh, MIA CVs maybe will be uh, the fight a little bit in the sky, um, but really uh, just kind of a, a turtle right now over at ACAP. We have uh, Amazing with Hatters and um, Zombie Cheese kind of just hanging out here a little bit, um, waiting for something to happen. Not too much, really. It's just long range uh, shells going on. That smoke isn't really going to help Hatters too much, but um, really, Aristia is the only ship that's really honestly taking any damage. Yeah, he, yeah. I'm looking. I'm looking at the health pools right now of of my guys over here and gals, and I'm just like, there's only one. There's only one ship that's really getting focused, and it's Aristia. He's just out there. He can't go dark. He's just out there, just taking damage, right? Um, uh, Dimags is moving out there to try to help him, but again, Ooh, that, M4 that taking a decent little hit right there, maybe about 15k or so. Um, I don't know if that was a torp. I wasn't uh, uh, over there or a, a random salvo. Looks like potentially a torp. Um, oh no, M4 was caught off. So he's he's kind of broadside to a couple ships. M4. So he has to be a little careful because that smoke is dying, and we've seen this a lot of um, the Kutuzov Chappie kind of hanging together um, with whatever ship it's been. And then um, a battleship kind of hanging out there with kind of a babysitting DD, as we've seen Tiab do right here. So, uh, but still, Aristia, Aristia can't catch a break right now. I think it's all HE damage, so he'll be able to heal most of it. But um, he's down to 25k. Yeah, Aristia has just been focused since he's been spotted. I mean, I mean Dimags is trying to get out there. To, I, you can probably see the smoke coming in from Dimags right now. But I mean, Aristia, the good thing is it's a lot of HE damage, so he'll be able to heal that. The bad thing is he's pushed so far out there. You know, again, yep. it's that situation where maybe they use that smoke to get him turned around. Um, it looks like they're shooting HE over the mountain at Jester Knight. Um, a, a loop is actually reaching himself to Cap B. That's actually very, that's actually nice. That's actually smart. Um, but like you said, over there, you have a group that's babysitting each other. We got a group over here the same. We have a Kutuzov, a Bismarck, and a Chappie all sitting together. You know, they're all just kind of in their own little little group but their smoke is gone it so does be it does look like coolidge is, is losing the fight a little bit um in the air if you look at the just the, the pure amount of fighters so um T uh, mi is gonna have a bit of an advantage there but still aristia out of the fight for a little bit his babysitting dd out of the fight a little bit luke looks like he's snank b cap which is nice gonna help them give a bit of a point advantage but ttt is healthy um really both teams are pretty healthy but i like ttt's positioning better yeah, and I don't even see I don't even see TTT. I see I see Hatters. Like that's the only ship that I see spotted from this side. You know, it, it, and that's you know, Daff Rhetoric might be winning the air air battle, but I don't know if he's winning the spotting battle right now. I, You're I about feel to like see a few a... ships over by C Cap, but I don't think anything oh. really from uh, from MIA is going to be able to put too much damage in, and they're about to get another smoke from the Lo Yang. So they're oh. doing a really good job at, at rotating Kuda, Lo Yang, Kuda, Lo Yang smoke, keeping two of their battleships and two of their cruisers safe right now. And it looks like yeah, Big Dob is in a bad spot. Yeah, and it looks like M4 here took, took some damage. I think you said that earlier. It looks like he took some, some significant damage before. But it looks like TTT is slowly but surely rolling that smoke cloud toward B. I feel like if MIA doesn't start getting torps into this group, it's gonna it's gonna roll right into B because MIA is not in a position with those ships at A to contest this group that's moving into C. Now Dimags did just put torps in on the smoke, so they are. I was gonna say we right. haven't seen Dimags in a while, so we have no idea where he is. Um, last spotted for us is H8 for Dimags, so I imagine he's gonna be pretty close. The Lo Yang is kind of screening for torps, but we're expecting to see some. Uh, some torpedoes pretty quick um but yeah aristia's just coming back with 30k life so we're still just kind of waiting um they're doing a really good job kind of all rolling together but this is a hell of a force a norcal two uh two cruisers and a destroyer really hanging together so they have two smokes to alternate there comes the torps um I, Corinth I think they were might playing, take I think one they, really i they were they look like oh yeah someone just took one i saw yep. 
They were going to take one in, in, in Panzo. No, they were they weren't. They came up almost almost right oh, at the last okay. second. So he just actually missed it. Um, yeah, they got two torpedoes, so not too bad. Um, that's the damage they need. But still, Aristia cannot catch a break, <laughs> getting absolutely wrecked. And boom, Draft just murdered planes in the sky. Um, he's gonna have probably full air support from this. Let's see if uh, Draft can do it and kind of keep it keep it alive. There, I lose a couple planes to some air, right there, but. Um, Drath is taking over the, C uh, the CV. Yeah, yeah. Draft rhetoric over here for MIA is doing a great job. Um, I I'm not, I'm not sure, but it looks like Colic is Colic or sorry if I mispronounced your name. Seems to be taking the worst of it in the air. Um, but MIA is making a push. Well, they need, they need to, they need to because what's what's happening is Aristia is is very, very low, seven thousand life left, and. He's getting nothing for being a distraction right now. All of TTT um, is very, very healthy, and there are what five ships over here, or about two. So that means for many are focused on some. That means you're losing somewhere else. Yeah, and I think Aristi is just going to go down. That that smoke, even though it was set, it was laid to to break the vision. I think planes are just keeping it spotted. You know, I. I, I just feel like he's just in trouble. He, he can't he can't break contact. And the further that he goes south, you know, the farther out he gets. But it looks like TTT is spotted. I see Claire, I see Cornroth, M4, Panzo, the DD. But a loop is taking a big a big amount of damage. Um, Jester, Jester Knight is is there, but I feel like. MIA needs to get the ships, the Bismarck and Obama bin Drifton that are over here at A, they need to get them to B. Because right now they're still worried about Hatters and that Kutuzov again that are up just, you know, distracting. I feel like they need to get and make sure they get control of B because they do have a they do have a significant point lead. 150 points right now is is a pretty decent lead. And well, it's this... making T T T oh, T push. No, this, know, they, this is this is this is pretty tough right now for TTT, and this is, could be something that uh, potentially um, MIA is going to take advantage of. But the smoke is going down for TTT, but there were because there's so much at A, right? There's so many ships over at A dealing with those few. That was a massive, uh, huge missed opportunity right now for MIA because oh, big hit on Tiob going down to 8K. Wow. Um, they had all all of their ships basically spotted with nothing really to show for it. Um, Victob is going to be spotted by planes, but TTT took a lot of damage there. That, that might get MIA back into this game, but MIA is pushing B. A loop's going to have to be very careful for for the radar there. But um, M4 is burning. Uh, Eclair is down to 13k. Tiab's down to 8k. So they're going to be very very careful um, on what they do. But Victob, if he moves, they might be okay. But I feel like the group for MIA that's over on A cap just hasn't done really enough. Where this group for C cap is basically taking Aristia out of this entire game. Can he even like shoot anymore without being just absolutely murdered? I don't think so. Well, Aristia is back up to 15k already and turning around. I, I feel like TTT is actually in a, in a bad position right now because Dimag is south of C and a loop is is um like west of west of uh, B. Uh -oh. so, yeah, I feel like cross torps could be an issue. And it looks like Rent's going to take... Oh, 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 he's so lucky. Oh. That's like the second time today that's happened. But right now, I mean, they TTT is on the cap, but MIA, they need to get that Bismarck and, and Chapayev over there. They need to get... They need to stop worrying about Hatters and that Kudozov and, and worry more about that B cap, I think. Because right now, if they lose that B cap... I don't think they have the ability to get back in there. And B-Doyle... Oh, B-Doyle just took a massive hit. Yeah, he was in broadside. A... Yeah, and you know Kudosov armor is great. Uh, there's... Oh, the Tiob is spotted. Yeah, Tiob spotted on B, Koka, and um, I forgot what battleship that is. Uh, oh, 800 life! Oh. Tiob is going to make it. There's one more salvo coming in. I don't think that's enough, even from an Akatsuki. So those are, that was big damage right there. This smoke is going to end... Um, for these two battleships, so they're going to be kind of caught there. Uh, B. Doyle, though, um, if he can just smoke up, he's going to have a great, great uh, shot on these guys just to rain it down. But Victob right there with only 800 life on Tiab. That could be that could be the swing that these guys need right now to get their first win of the day and a, and a big win for NA. 
and there's Eclair. Eclair is spotted at 13,000 HP. And Corinth is also, and there's Tiob spotted. I mean, there's some there's some potential targets right here on TTT that could that could get down. And they're trying to use the Kutuzov TTT is to smoke up those ships, but you know that's not that smoke's not going to last that long. No, it's not. And Tiob, if he can get back in time, um, is that? I wonder. That has to be radar, right? Wow, Victop taking a big salvo um, from the boys. I don't know how they're spotted right now. Let's say, oh, I bet it's a sonar. It, oh, Panzo just got. Oh, he got wrecked too, um, but yeah, I, I, that's that's the that's the low yang right there. Is I think that's the sonar that's keeping those guys spotted right now. Um, so very very clutch. Um, oh, 34 life. They need to get him before before uh, Victor goes down. 34 life. He's hanging on there. Tiab, hang on, man. Oh man, there's shots, so many, so many shots in. are coming in right now. Oh, oh, I don't know if they're gonna do it, but he's he's basically helped kill uh, Big Top. It, they need to all get oh, down. He him. goes, and Victim is oh, now out of smoke. Him. So terrible timing. Uh, Panzo getting really lucky because he's in the that troll Amagi with the, his armor. It seems to be impossible to to uh, to do anything against that. But Victop probably going to go down here. But they get, did get a DD, so it's going to be three v one DD. So it's going to be massive map control um, or APOC for the uh, or for MIA for the rest of the game. And Panzo taking so much else. If Victop can get out of this, um, I don't know if he can. Um, but that would be that'd be nice. I don't know. He's 3K life, I, unless he has a heal right now, which I think he's already used. I don't think he's getting out of this alive. Yeah, and there's battle. Yeah, there's battleship shells coming yeah, in. Down he goes. But yeah, yeah. Obama's moved. Obama been drifting. That name cracks me up. It, yeah. it moved up. Um, looks like there was a torp drop that just hit zombie cheese. Um, looks like those were CV torps. He's down to half health and getting shot at by. Obama well, been uh, Panzo might uh, might go down here because he is is that Deboil behind that rock right now because Panzo is just getting absolutely pelted from Max Strange with only eleven thousand life and these guys don't have any more smoke. Oh, those torps! Is Corinth gonna take another torp? Corinth's gonna take two torps. Corinth is gonna go down. Down goes Akuta's off. M4. M4 is taking torps as well. Oh, he's taking two. Yep. Uh, B Doyle might be able to finish him off. Shells are in. Um. If I'm a looper, do you start firing a 6,500 life, 6,900 life? No, I, I, well, Panzo, Panzo. Panzo's going to go down. Oh wow, God. what a torp spread. How much damage did he do on that? And look at the I, flank. Look at the flank over here. The Benson flank by Dimegs. Yeah, and guess who's still alive all the way in the back? Ristia. Ristia is still alive. J10, J10. But, but he, he lived and he's still getting shots out, so... TTT made a push without securing their flanks, I don't think. You know, I think pa Panzo's in trouble. He he flooded, I think. And if he gets on fire, I think he's he's. Oh, dead. yeah. And B, B Doyle's going to be able to, from 18K. He, Panzo's not moving too quick, so he's going to be able to get him. M4 down to 18,000 life. Um, what a flank, though, from, uh, from Dimex. Dimex is going to be able to back cap C if needed. He's going to be able to put some shots in on Panzo, maybe get that last little fire. If... Uh, if B Doyle can't do it, 22, 2100 life. M4 trying to post up. Look at Obama been drifting, almost full life right there, and still a Russian cruiser with radar. So, um, we'll see what ends up happening here. The, those torps by a loop were devastating. I think they were a loop. Boom, torps, down right? he goes. So I think MIA, MIA is going to take this home unless something really, really um, kind of changes up. Really, one of the main things that that happened was when they were caught out of smoke. Um, they were able to pump out enough damage. Oh, big hit by Obama oh, been drifting. Yeah. And I think Coca is actually going to go down oh. right here. Yeah. Obama. Okay. Just, Obama been, wow. Okay. Right. So, but M, M, M4 is very low. M4, M4 is down, is but I think Coca down. might go down with a chappy right here. Unless he can get away. And um, but he's starting to cap it out right now. This actually isn't over. Um, well, Dimags is going to come in to see. And they don't have anything to stop Dimax from getting the C. I'm, I'm. It seems like the CV for TTT is out of planes. I haven't seen a TTT plane in a while, so I assume he's out of planes. Dimax is going to come into. We got, a, we got a hero that. push over on the King of All Evil right now. What's he? What's he? Do? Oh yeah. Amazing's pushing in King, but King is is running away, so he's not going to be able to get the torps like he wants to. But they are capping. Okay, so that. We'll, we'll see what ends up happening here. Torps are going to be coming in. He only he only, only have three. It's not going to be enough. Um, if he is smart, though, he will have his guns on Coco. They need a reset on points. Those other Torps, are they going to cross-torp oh, him enough, though? Cross-peeds. He's going to take three. 
Oh, he's, he's gonna take at least one. He might get, yeah, it might get the cover right there. They did kill Coco, but down goes King of All Evil. Um, this game is close again, but Amazing is at 830 HP. Um, Hatters is moving towards A. Man, this this is a lot closer than it was just a few seconds ago. Quick kills by TTT. Uh, man, I don't know. I'm trying to think of everyone's everyone's life right now. Loop's still decently healthy. Dimags is still almost full life. B Doyle is about 10k and Aristia we haven't seen in about 14 minutes. So, um, is that his shots coming in on that? Eclair, Eclair is taking a little bit of damage. I'm trying to get a good view of. Uh, we can't uh, see anybody right now from MIA. Okay, so Aristia, Aristia is down on the, the eye line at about 15k. Uh, B Doyle is in the smoke at B. Um, a loop is has moved to A, and this game actually got a lot closer because. T -T -T Can a loop get a shot on Amazing right now? Amazing's over at. Uh, at F, oh, he just he just smoked up. I don't, yeah, I don't think, yeah, I don't think he's gonna be able to see him. A loops fired his torpedoes and hatters, but those those aren't gonna hit. And TTT is actually taking the cap advantage again. This is really went from an MIA looking like they were cruising to a victory to this could become a. Oh, B Doyle's gonna uh, be pushing in. This could be the win right here. If B Doyle pushes on Eclair, he's not gonna have any support. Um, and no one's gonna be able to get B Doyle. B Doyle's gonna cap this out. So if he does kill Eclair, that's basically a GG right there. All B Doyle has to do is just sit there. B Doyle does get the kill. Wow, good shot though on B Doyle. But anyways, he's not gonna be able to do anything. Uh, that Lo Yang's gonna be spotted, and they're not gonna be able to do. And it, will a loop get the kill on Amazing? Uh, yeah. Nicely done. He hy he hydroed him, I believe. I believe he hydroed Amazing, and that's how he saw him. Because if you look, I mean, nothing else would have spotted him. So I'm pretty sure a loop went over there, hydrated him, and killed him with guns. So MIA went, has taken control back. Dimax took C. I mean, B, Do B Doyle is in. Oh, will Doyle like... get the torp kill on the Lo Yang? Then the game he does. Wow, goes down in style. Nicely done, MIA. Good job, MIA. That good game. Good swings in the, that game. There were a lot of a lot of swings. Let's look at the post battle real quick here, and let's look just looking at planes. I, I love looking at the plane yeah, kills for right. the DDs. Well, I mean, look at uh, look at draft. Look at draft right now. 18, 18 plane kills versus Coolidge's nine. So draft yeah. definitely controlled the air that game and really, I think, helped. Out. I mean, he he was spotting all the ships up basically in the game. So well done, am I with with, with draft um, or daft rhetoric? There you go. We got it. Um, daft uh, really really doing a good job and, and pulling uh, the win in for their team. Coolidge playing very well. Um, but just draft kind of controlling the air and giving his team that vision that they needed to pull home the win late. Well, and it, it pulls NA back, right? Now it's 4-3.